all of these women doing these intensive programs for such a short period of time on top of the pressure of actually planning your wedding YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maya from Maya Does Fitness. And as always, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get notified every time I post up a new video. And if you want to see more content just like this, leave me a thumbs up and also a comment down below. Let me start this video with a bang by telling you guys that I am getting married! I am officially engaged to Mr. Cameraman, so say hi. No? God willing, if the situation permits, we will be married next year in June 2021. So, fingers crossed. And you know the first thing that went into my mind the moment I knew I was getting married? I need to find a dress! Yes, I am one of those say yes to the dress obsessed fans and I have dreamed of going wedding shopping with my mom for all of my life. So to provide context for why I'm making this video, I need to go back in time and tell you guys about my experience, my first experience, going wedding dress shopping. So a few months ago, before this whole lockdown thing started here in Malaysia, I booked a bridal appointment at a very relatively famous bridal boutique here in Kuala Lumpur. And let me get this out of the way, the dresses were divine, the boutique was amazing, and the experience was relatively pleasant. In fact, let me include some of the... There's a fly going by. Okay, in fact, let me include some of the pictures and videos we took at that boutique. So the bridal consultant assigned to me was actually very, very professional and she was also from Sabah. So she made me feel right at home. But something that she said a couple of times to me actually caught my attention in not necessarily a bad way, but it just made me think. So because a lot of the dresses that I tried on were actually sample dresses, meaning they are off the rack, and normally these dresses go for a complete bargain price. And you know, this girl loves a bargain. The sample dresses are actually normally in XS to medium size, like a small medium size, and not a lot of them actually fit me correctly because I am a little bit more thicker. But the consultant kept reassuring me that if I were to purchase the dresses in a smaller size, I had more than enough time to slim down and jadi kurus by the time my wedding day came around given I had more than a year left to go. Now I wasn't offended or anything like that. Being a chubby girl all my life, you get these comments here and there and you get pretty used to it. But it was something that got me thinking, why do we as women put so much pressure in ourselves to lose weight before our wedding day. And notice I said lose weight because most of the time when it comes to bridal transformation, no one really cares about building lean muscle mass and losing fat. Everyone's just obsessed about hitting a certain number on the scales. And in most cases, it's absolutely unnecessary. Your fiancé is obviously not getting married to you on the condition that you lose weight prior to your wedding day, I hope. And if he is, then... But somehow we are preconditioned to think, at least in my culture, that the moment you know you're getting married, BAM! Oh, I need to lose a lot of weight now. I need to go on a diet and be my most nervous and radiant self on my wedding day. And I know what you're thinking. What is wrong with that? I'll be the first to tell you that absolutely nothing. I have no problem whatsoever with anyone that decides to undergo an extreme weight loss transformation for their wedding day, but maybe we're going about it the wrong way. Just a quick Google search will tell you that upcoming brides are actually looking for a quick solution, a quick fix, you might say, to losing weight and sadly for them, it's totally unsustainable in the long run. Personally, myself, I've heard of brides going on the military diet just to lose some water weight prior to their wedding. And I don't know if you've heard of the military diet, but <laughs> it is brutal. I myself have done it a couple of times before photo shoots, back when I had a terrible relationship with food. And even though I would lose a couple of kgs before my photo shoot, I would soon enough gain them all back and then some. Then of course, there's your juice cleanses, your 1,200 calorie a day diets, sugar detoxes, all of these women doing these intensive programs for such a short period of time 
putting so much added stress on themselves on top of the pressure of actually planning your wedding chuck in over exercising into the mix and they eventually will hit the wall and reverse their results almost immediately after the wedding the question is is it all worth it and to some of you maybe it is but for me i don't want to torture myself by over exercising and eliminating certain food groups just to be thin on what is supposed to be my most happiest day and since i am already in the process of switching to a healthier lifestyle my wedding goals are no longer focused on losing a certain number of kgs but actually to feel my most confident strongest self on my wedding day and also knowing that everything I did to achieve them was done through consistent hard work over a long, long period of time. Not through pushing myself to the brink of insanity in a short couple of months at the expense of my relationship with food and other people along the way. Because I know it will. But I'm not here to call you out. If you decide to go for an intensive weight loss program, by all means, it is all up to you. It's your choice. I just don't want anybody to be obsessed over the concept of losing weight just for one day that they compromise on their mental health. I do not wish that on anyone because I have been there and it is a one-way ticket to the land of I'll never be good enough. So anyways, that's a lot of heavy stuff for you to digest. To lighten things up, I will include some of the footages from when I went bridal shopping at other bridal boutiques. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so right now we're headed out to have brunch with my bridal entourage, Amber and Ewan. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. right now and we're waiting for space because we have four packs yeah the system here is great it's this cafe is called strangers at 47 they have really good crates so yeah Hey guys, if you're still here, I just want to say 
Thank you so much for sticking to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and feel free to share your thoughts about the bridal transformation culture in the comments below. Or tell me about your own experiences. To me, having a sustainable fat loss approach is something that I strive for. You can check out my previous video to find out what this channel is all about. So if you dig my content and you like my vibe, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to keep me going. And like I said earlier, my opinions are my own. All I wish for potential brides out there is to first truly love yourself through and through. Anything you see in the mirror can be worked on and improved to your liking. But if you don't love yourself, no measure of weight loss or fat loss is going to make you feel good about yourself. Your soul is what makes you essentially you. And what if I told you that the perfect bridal body is just you, just as you are right now, putting yourself in a pretty white dress that makes you feel absolutely beautiful. So until my next one, be good to yourself. Love y'all.